Librarians, students, teachers, parents, and our museum membership. I'm Casey Kosky, Curator of Exhibits for the Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center. Welcome to the 42nd Annual Regional High School Art Show, hosted by the Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center, and sponsored by the North Central Educational Services District, Central Washington University, and the Washington State Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction. The Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center is located on the traditional homelands of the Pesposa Wenatchee people. We acknowledge the traditional lands and offer respect and gratitude to the Pesquosa and to the diverse indigenous peoples that reside in North Central Washington. This past year, we have faced uncountable changes to life as we know it. Between the first cancellation of the pandemic, our awards ceremony for this very event one year ago. We've been through so much from illness to grief, exhaustion and longing. Art is and has always been a tool to help provoke, share, and process human emotion. I hope that the students have had the realization how valuable a tool art can be for themselves and their communities. For some, if not all of our participants, a passion for art and creativity will lead them on into exciting opportunities in their future. Our art show has also changed. This year, our show went exclusively digital. Due to our change in format, and our limited number of submissions, it negated the need for categories. We will be awarding eight Best of Show awards to denote the advancement to the state competition. Those awards go to, and in no particular order, Dulce Rosas for her piece called Glass and Bottle. Dulce is from Bridgeport High School. Her teacher is Brad Skip and she's a senior. Congratulations. Our next award is to Nora Abelson for the set of three blue nesting bowls. She's from Wenatchee High School. Her teacher is Don Collins. She's also a senior. Congratulations. Next is Sarah Sanchez for her piece called Hummingbird Cubism. Um, Sarah is from Tenasket High School and her teacher is Lissa Mensick. Congratulations. Our next award goes to Macy Cowan for the Manifestation of Imagination. She's a Chelan High School student. Um, she's in the 10th grade and her teacher is Damian Smith. Our next award goes to Madison Hyatt for her piece, Pristine Passerine. She's also from Chelan High School and teacher is Damian Smith. Um, she is a 10th grader. Congratulations. Next award goes to Ashley Santana for her piece called Isolation. She's from Cashmere High School. Her teacher is Alan Pace, and she is a senior. Congratulations. Our next award goes to Sydney Young for her piece called Anxiety. She's also from Cashmere High School. Teacher is Alan Pace, and she's a 10th grader. Congratulations. Um, and our last award goes to Ashlyn Good for her piece called Abstract Line Portrait. She's also from Kashmir High School. She's in the ninth grade. Uh, teacher is Alan Pace. So to all of these students, congratulations. Thank you so much for participating. I'd like to thank all the students who went the extra mile to figure out just how things would work this year. Thank you so much for your submissions and to the teachers and parents who supported them in this. Our next presenter is Greg Schlanger, artist and chair of the art and design department at Central Washington University. He will be presenting the tuition waiver awards that Central is so generous to share with all of our students. Hello, my name is Greg Schlanger. I'm the chair of the Department of Art and Design at Central Washington University. Central Washington University is located in Ellensburg, Washington, at the intersection of Interstate 90 and Interstate 82. We offer several degrees in our program, from studio art to graphic design to art education. Our studio areas include ceramics, drawing, graphic design, jewelry and metalsmithing, painting, photography, sculpture, and wood design. The awards I'll be presenting are Central Washington University scholarships. Each student receiving an award will also receive a letter and a certificate in the mail detailing the scholarship itself. Our first award 
goes to Dulce Rosas of uh, Bridgeport High School. It's a $2,000 scholarship and it's for the drawing glass and bottle. This is a well rendered drawing. It really captures the many characteristics of the glass. Our next award is a $2,000 award to Nora Abelson from Wenatchee High School, a set of blue nesting bowls. It demonstrates a really nice command of the material. The bowls have a nice weight and the glazed surface enhances the overall form. Our next award is to Sarah Sanchez of Tonasket High School. This is a $2,000 scholarship for Sarah's piece, Hummingbird Cubism. This is a very nicely executed drawing. Sarah creates an interesting composition with a strong directional, directional force throughout. Our next award is a $3,000 scholarship to Juan Gonzalez Gutierrez of Wenatchee High School for Juan's drawing black and white. The loose gestural quality creates a strong emotional image. I enjoy the contrast of the vague marks to the detailed focus. This award is in addition to the last year's $1,000 scholarship Juan received at the show last year. So now that's $4,000 at Central Juan. I'll see you next year. Our next award is $3,000 and it goes to Ashley Santana of Kashmir High School for Ashley's piece, Isolation. The drawing seems to be immediately about the moment. With the mask, obviously the pandemic we are all in. But this skillfully drawn figure gazing into the distance becomes timeless as the concept of a mask can imply so much more. Bravo, Ashley, and congratulations to everybody who's received an award and congratulations to all the students that are in this art show. If you have any questions about the award or our program, please reach out to me. My email is schlanger at cw.edu.